Are you someone who enjoys using free Wi-Fi in public spots? Have you ever wondered how many people use the same public network at the same time? What if one of them gains access to all your personal data? Using a free Wi-Fi doesn't seem that secure now, does it? This is exactly where cybersecurity comes into the scenario. Hi folks, my name is Devi and today I'm here with yet another interesting and informative video on cybersecurity for you guys. In this video, I'll be introducing you to the world of cybersecurity and also discuss the CIA triad. Then we will try and understand why we need cybersecurity, what are the various cyber attacks that one needs to watch out for, and we will explore cybersecurity from a career perspective. But before moving on with the video, it would mean a lot to us if you could hit the like button below. Also do subscribe to our channel if you don't want to miss out on our amazing tech videos. Alright, so here's the list of topics that we will be covering in today's video. We will start off with a brief introduction to cybersecurity and also discuss the CIA triad. Then we will discuss why we need cybersecurity, following which we will look at the different types of cyber attacks that one needs to avoid. And finally, we will see what job roles are offered in the field of cybersecurity. And I'll also mention some of the topmost cybersecurity certifications that will help you secure these job roles. Let us begin with simple definition. Cybersecurity is a practice which involves keeping one's system, network or data safe and secure from all kinds of damage and threats. It is a technique of protecting digital networks and data from any unauthorized access. Be it large enterprises or small companies, cybersecurity holds great value when it comes to safeguarding their data or assets against cyber attacks, data breaches, privacy invasion, identity thefts, etc. Now, while talking about cybersecurity, you must know about the CIA triad. The CIA triad comprises of the principles of confidentiality, integrity, and availability. These three principles act as the foundation, or you could say the pillars of an organization's security infrastructure. Let us see what each of these principles refer to. The first one is confidentiality. It involves restricting access to the data, that is, only authorized users can access the data. This ensures that the data remains safe from any outsider or unauthorized individual. This is usually done by protecting the data with help of passwords, which are known only to those in charge of handling the data. For example, e-commerce portals ensure the confidentiality of their customer data, such as their bank account details, contact information, etc. The second principle is that of integrity. It ensures that the data stored in the system is modified only by authorized users. This also means that the data doesn't get altered incorrectly by any source and thus always remains reliable and authentic. For example, banking institutions ensure that none of their customer data gets tampered with and remains consistent unless changes are made by authorized users themselves. The third and last principle is availability. This principle refers to the availability of the resources and services to authorized users at any given point of time. Authorized users can demand access to these resources or data whenever and however they want, based on certain service agreements. In case of cyber attacks, hardware failures, etc., an organization might have to suffer great losses. For example, if a banking organization fails to provide data access to its users on time, then this could certainly lead to customer dissatisfaction, which would harshly impact the bank's reputation. Alright, so now we have discussed what is cybersecurity and the CIA triad, which forms the base for it. Let us now look at why we need cybersecurity. Suppose you work at an organization which deals with storing data in data centers. One day while you are at work, you suddenly realize that there's been some sort of a data breach. Some confidential data is missing from the systems. You're simply blown out of your mind. Like, how did this even happen? Well, this is what a cyber attack looks like. Confidential data getting in the hands of any unauthorized individual. And once the data is lost or tampered with, it cannot be retrieved. Hence, one needs to apply cybersecurity mechanisms in order to protect data. This is exactly why we need cybersecurity. 
cyber security safeguards all data and computerized systems from any malicious threats and possible damage but if you think that only large organizations remain vulnerable to such threats then let me tell you that even a common man using internet for his personal reasons remains equally vulnerable to all kinds of cyber attacks so next time before you use the internet make sure to secure your system and be smart enough to identify any suspicious activity that you come across in order to ensure cyber security one needs to be aware of the various kinds of cyber attacks that might take place here are some of the most common cyber attacks that can take place we have malware attacks phishing attacks dos and ddos attacks sql injection man in the middle attacks password cracking and many more let us discuss each one of these attacks briefly the first one is the malware attack now these attacks take place when a user downloads any corrupted files on his or her system these corrupted files or applications are malwares or malicious software which are intended to corrupt the user's system and data for example suppose you want to watch any movie and you decide to download it from a website but upon downloading the file your system suddenly begins to malfunction this is a result of a malware attack some of the popular malwares are trojan ransomware spyware etc one of the most common cyber attacks is the phishing attack in this attack users are tricked by sending malicious links or emails where the attacker disguises himself as any trusted organization such as banks etc now when a user opens these emails or clicks on these links his system is hacked and he is then tricked by the attacker to hand over valuable data or information so the next time you receive any mail which seems suspicious think before you respond to it the denial of service or dos attack occurs when the attacker floods the target system or network with service requests which therefore overloads the target and disrupts the service the distributed denial of service attack occurs when the attacker carries out a dos attack by compromising multiple systems at once despite the similarity in their nature the ddos attacks are harder to detect as compared to the dos attacks another type of cyber attack is the sql injection databases are handled via sql queries and these queries are executed via html forms if an unauthorized user gets access to these forms due to a lack of secured permissions in the database then it leads to a cyber attack known as the sql injection These attacks involve exploitation of databases, unauthorized data modification, etc. The next type of cyber attack we have is the man in the middle attack. In this attack, the attacker tries to intercept a conversation between two parties and tries to gather personal or confidential data. Such attacks can be avoided these days with the help of end-to-end -end encryption method, which is used by most email and chatting platforms. The last type of cyber attack that we will discuss is the password cracking attack. In these attacks the attacker tries to crack or guess the user's password. Credential stuffing, dictionary attack, keylogger attack are some of the examples of password cracking technique. If you want to avoid these attacks or protect your system from them, then here are some tips for you. Firstly, you need to start using strong passwords to protect your data. Make sure your passwords are a combination of alphabets, numbers, special characters, upper as well as lower case letters, etc. Secondly, it's important to install and deploy next generation firewalls in your system. Now, a firewall is simply a device which checks the incoming and outgoing traffic on a network. Next generation firewalls consist of advanced features which ensure higher degree protection to your system. Another important thing to do is to ensure that your system remains up to date at all times. Often these system updates come in with built-in advanced security features. You must always pay attention to any website or link before clicking on it or using it. At times there are certain websites that seem suspicious and therefore you must refrain from visiting them. The last point is that no matter how convenient or money saving it seems Kindly avoid using public networks unless absolutely necessary. Moving on further, let us look at the career scope one has in cybersecurity. There are various job profiles available in the field of cybersecurity. As a fresher, you can go for roles such as IT technician, 
network engineer, system administrator, etc. Once you have gained a few years of work experience, then you can surely switch to roles such as security analyst, IT auditor, penetration tester, etc. And if you have been working for a long time in the field, then it's time for you to try for executive level roles such as chief information security officer, cybersecurity architect, etc. Also, in case you are wondering if cybersecurity jobs are well paid, let me tell you that the average salary of a cybersecurity professional ranges from $90,000 to $125,000. And also, here are some of the topmost certifications that will help you secure these job roles. There's the CompTIA Security Plus 501 certification by CompTIA and the Certified Ethical Hacking Training by the EC Council. Now, these certifications can help you become penetration testing experts in any organization. Next one is the CISSP, which is a management level certification and it requires you to have a five year working experience in the cybersecurity field. This one allows you to become a chief information security officer in an organization. Then we have the CISA certification by an organization named ISACA. And by doing this certification, you can gain skills which allow you to audit systems, etc. Next up, we have the CISM certification, which enables you to gain managerial skills so that you can easily manage the security system in an organization. Lastly, we have the CRISC certification, which is associated with risk assessment and building risk control strategies for an organization. And with this, we have come to the end of this video. We have learned about what cybersecurity means and its building foundation, that is the CIA triad. We have discussed the need for cybersecurity and we have also had a brief overview of different types of cyber attacks and how to prevent them. Lastly, we have looked at the various job roles one can opt for in the field of cybersecurity and the certifications needed to secure these jobs. If you find this video helpful or interesting, then please don't forget to hit the like button. You can also share your suggestions or queries, if you have any, in the comment section below. Make sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our upcoming tech videos. Thank you.